Greetings, and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc., and today I'll be demonstrating how to work with inventory and warehouses in Oro Commerce. In Oro Commerce, inventory control helps sellers track the availability of products in your warehouse, display it for the buyer, and automatically adjust it after each purchase. You can use Oro Commerce to easily track your inventory as well as using third-party inventory systems. Additionally, Oro Commerce Enterprise Edition allows sellers to create and manage multiple warehouses. In this demonstration, we'll show you how to manage system-wide inventory defaults, update inventory stock, and create and manage warehouses. Additionally, we'll demonstrate managing inventory from the product page. To set the inventory default configuration, Navigate to the main system menu and use the drop-down to select Configuration. On the left-hand navigation pane, expand the Commerce option, and then expand the Inventory option. System-wide inventory configuration consists of four options, Allowed Inventory Statuses, Warehouses, product inventory options, and order quantity limitations. Click on Allowed Statuses. With Allowed Inventory Statuses, sellers can control how inventory is displayed on the storefront and management console. You can also restrict the buyer from adding products with a particular inventory status to RFQs, customer orders, quotes, or shopping lists. By default, there are three status messages available on the storefront and management console in stock, out of stock, and discontinued. By default, only in stock and out of stock are visible, but you can change these options by unchecking the Use Default option to open the field for editing. Select the options you would like to be visible by clicking on it with your mouse to highlight it. You can hold the Control key down and use your mouse to select more than one status. Additionally, you can select a range of statuses by holding down the Shift key and using your mouse to click at the beginning and the end of the range. When you're finished, click the Save Settings button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Click on the Warehouses option. Here you can manage which warehouses are added to the default configuration. After creating warehouses, sellers can enable and prioritize them to ensure that Oro Commerce uses the most efficient strategy for inventory updates that happen during store operations. Products will be ordered and shipped from the highest priority warehouse first. To add a warehouse, use the drop-down to select a warehouse. You can add additional warehouses using Enterprise Edition by clicking the plus Add Warehouse button. You can add as many warehouses as needed. Additionally, you can use the double arrow to drag and drop the warehouses into the correct priority order. When you're finished, click the Save Settings button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Click on Product Options. Here you can set the default options for the product. These options are set to use the default settings, but you can change these values by unchecking the Use Default checkbox to open the fields for editing. Under Managed Inventory, use the drop-down to select Yes if inventory is handled by Oro Commerce instead of an external application. In the Inventory Threshold section, type the minimum quantity of this product in order for the product to be considered in stock. In the Back Orders field, select if the product is open to back orders. When set to Yes, buyers and salespeople can order quantities that are not currently available in warehouses. Any quantities of the order not filled during the initial purchase will be filled when the product is back in stock. In the Decrement Inventory section, select how you'd like to decrement the inventory. Available options are On Order Submission or Defined by Workflow. When this option and back orders are enabled, the available product quantity might display in the negatives. When you're finished, click the Save Settings button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Click the Limitations options. Here is where you can set the product purchase limitations globally. In the Minimum Quantity to Order, enter a number that the buyer must purchase as a minimum quantity. For example, bulk sellers may only want to sell a product if the buyer purchases more than 50. 
and the maximum quantity to order, enter a number that is the maximum quantity that a customer can purchase per order. If this is a product that is in great demand, putting a cap on the maximum quantity gives a level purchasing field to other customers trying to get bulk supplies. When you're finished, click Save Settings in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll demonstrate creating new warehouses and managing inventory. Navigate to the Inventory menu and use the drop-down to select Warehouses. To create a warehouse, click the Create Warehouse button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Add a meaningful name for the warehouse. The default warehouse address is pulled from the Shipping Origin section of the Main Configuration menu, but you can change this address by unchecking the Use Shipping Origin checkbox and entering a new address. If you would like to change this default address, you can do so by navigating to the Main System menu and using the drop-down to select Configuration. Then expand the Commerce and Shipping options. Click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll demonstrate managing inventory. Navigate to the Inventory menu and use the drop-down to select Manage Inventory. The product list displays on the grid. You can scroll through the list to update products or use filters to narrow down your product choices. Use inline editing to update the inventory quantities or status. Hover over the record you'd like to update and click the pencil icon to open the field for editing. Click the check mark to save the edit. Additionally, you can import new inventory updates by downloading the template for the inventory list, make updates, and then re-import the updated list. For more information on importing and exporting, please see our related video in the Oro CRM Media Library. Finally, we'll demonstrate managing inventory at the product level. Navigate to the Product menu and use the drop-down to select Products. Hover over the ellipse to the far right of the record and use the available options to edit the record. To update the inventory, click on the Inventory link. Fill out the information as previously demonstrated. You can override the default settings by unchecking the Use Default checkbox to open the field for editing. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocommerce.com/media-library.